A well-packed bag can make all the difference between a good trip and a great trip. We all know that packing into a carry-on is the way to go, so let's get started. But before we do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. There are four basic categories for packing into a carry-on. Wardrobe is number one. This should take up most of the space inside your carry-on. Number two are your shoes. For some people, this might take up even more space. Number three is your toiletries and makeup. And number four is a soft-sided personal bag for under your seat. This might be a backpack, a tote, or a briefcase, or a small cabin bag. So let's get started. Your wardrobe will take up most of the space in your bag, so you'll really want to think about each item you pack and how it all works together. The easiest way to plan it out is to lay everything you want to take out on your bed and then put half of it back in your closet. Your goal is for every piece you pack to be flexible and versatile, and most importantly, for everything to work together. Start with a basic color scheme and work from there. Start with two tops and two bottoms. If you have four outfits, you're on the right track. Three tops and three bottoms should make nine outfits when you mix and match. Here's a pro tip. Take a picture of everything you're taking before you pack it. It will make it easier if you have to file an insurance claim, but it's also a great way to see what you actually use during your trip. You'll be able to see that sweater you never wore on your trip, and you'll pack even more efficiently for your next trip. Speaking of sweaters, let's talk layering, especially for trips to colder and more variable climates. For cold weather, layers are your packing lifesaver. Put together a base layer, a mid layer, and an outer layer and you're set for just about anything. Another tip, wear your big heavy jacket on the plane. In fact, it makes a good packing sense to wear your heaviest layers and biggest shoes on the plane so you don't have to pack them. Okay, now that you've chosen your wardrobe, let's get your clothes inside your carry-on. Folding and rolling, or using the bundle method, are tried and true packing methods that work great for carry-on, but you can make packing even more efficient and less of a chore by using packing cubes and other packing aids. These various cubes, folders, and sacks help you minimize wrinkles, completely organize everything, and best of all, maximize the space in your carry-on. Packing cubes, folders, and sacks come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Cubes keep smaller items organized, folders keep dressier clothes wrinkle-free, and sacks contain all those small items that can get lost in your bag. The next category is shoes. Lots of travelers struggle with packing shoes, and for women, packing the right combination of shoes can be even more of a challenge. A pro tip. Categorize your shoes bringing walking shoes, evening shoes, and flats will cover just about any situation during your trip. It's a bit easier for men, a pair of active or outdoor shoes, and a pair of comfortable street shoes, and you're set. For packing shoes, use a shoe sack or a shower cap to keep your shoes clean and neat and your belongings pristine. The next category is toiletries. You probably know the 311 rule. All the liquids and gels you bring into the cabin with you must be in a 3 ounce or smaller containers and they must all fit into a single clear quart size bag. If your favorite brands only come in larger containers, transfer them to a smaller bottles and jars. You'll want to keep this bag handy until you're through security. After that, you can put it back with your regular toiletry kit, which has all of your non-liquid items. Pro tip. Women have a bigger challenge here too, since lots of makeup items are, are liquids and gels. Look for solid or powdered foundations and other products to minimize the liquids you pack. Sample sizes from the cosmetics counter are a great space saver too. What about socks and underwear? Travel with underwear and socks that are quick drying and lightweight so you can wash them in your room at night. This will limit the amount of socks and underwear you will need to pack. When it comes to packing into a carry-on, the goal is to be able to pack with two weeks worth of clothes. If you are traveling for more than two weeks, 
and plan on doing laundry. Either have the hotel do it, go to a laundromat, or do it in the sink. If you plan on doing it in the hotel sink, pack a laundry kit with a sink stopper, laundry detergent, and a good laundry line. Pro tip, do a little laundry as you go every night. That way, you will not have to face a mountain of laundry all at once. Second pro tip, use a compressor bag to put your dirty laundry in. If you are on a short trip, your dirty laundry will be separated from your clean clothes and can be compressed down, taking up less space. And if you are on a longer trip, the compressor bag can double as a laundry bag to take with you to a laundry mat. Now everything else goes into your personal bag. That is a soft-sided bag that could easily fit under the seat. It could be a backpack, tote, or briefcase. Pack into this bag last, just in case something does not fit into your carry-on bag. Always pack your medication and electronics into your personal bag. If for some reason your carry-on becomes separated from you, you will not be without these items. Time to pack your bags. By using folders and cubes, your carry-on will seem as if it is packing itself. Don't forget your toiletries. And don't forget your personal bag. Thanks for watching this packing video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and please share.